uh, Anish to talk a little bit about that because uh, you know he can really detail the, the, the grants for innovation. But I can just say that, for instance, in the energy sector, as we're focusing uh, on an energy bill, uh, that uh, there are hundreds of millions of dollars of grants available uh, for the development of a smart grid, for advanced automobile batteries, uh, for wind and solar. And a lot of these are actually available and going to small companies. These are not the large companies. I've been to a facility in, um, in Detroit uh, that is uh, working on solar panels where they actually export this to China and other countries. This is a small company, just started a few years ago, and is about, I think, has only about 50 employees. There's another company that's developing batteries uh, for large commercial trucks, electric batteries, and these are big delivery trucks uh, and utility trucks used by uh, electric companies and, and public utilities to repair uh, transmission lines and things like that. These batteries, advanced batteries, uh, will enable a vehicle to go 100 miles on one single charge. This is also a very small company. So a lot of these grants, especially for the energy field, uh, renewable energy, alternative <coughs> energy, are not going to the big, big companies, but really are going to entrepreneurs and people with great ideas. But if, in fact, you feel that uh, we're not doing enough, we'd like to take your card, we'd like to get your information, and uh, like to follow up on that. I mean, we're not saying that we're perfect. We'd like to, uh, to address that issue, and if you can give us more information, we'll take a look at it and get back to you. Anisha? Yeah, just uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary. Uh, three key points to the discussion. Uh, first, on behalf of the President's Open Government Initiative, um, I have taken it as one of my key responsibilities to open up access to this information in ways that hadn't been seen before. Oftentimes, these announcements aren't the easiest to find. You have to have a PhD in something or other to get, get that information. So by, by providing that information in, in more creative and open ways, we hope to expand those who are available, who are aware of the, the opportunities. Uh, number two, uh, we've introduced a new construct in procurement that the president has called for, which is how do we bring more innovation into how we spend the dollars that we do in a uh, letter from the uh, budget director that we helped uh, introduce earlier this year, we've introduced the notion of prizes and competitions uh, as a way to bring more uh, game-changing ideas. Just as an example, the Defense Department launched defensesolutions.gov. They put up a small speck of what they wanted, what I call CSI Baghdad, which is a forensics kit that can be used in the, uh, uh, in the field. Entrepreneurs who had no training in procurement law or legal processes all you have to do is type in a few components, a few paragraphs of your idea. That's it. They mined through these ideas, whittled them down to 27 or so, brought them in for interviews. Seven of them are now going through. No formal bureaucracy. They have the ability to award grants up to $300,000 just based on the problem. So that if you have a, an, an innovative approach to it, they, they would bring it. So championing the role of prizes and uh, competitions and challenges akin to what you've seen uh, in that example, is a cultural process that will introduce opportunities for small businesses. And then third, uh, I think a big part of this is also facilitating, partly to your question earlier, ma'am, about how do you bring these assets together. Uh, we have uh, 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 organized within the White House this notion that as part of our work on, on economic growth, we must have a collaborative uh, programming. So we're trying to bring programs that might have historically been perceived as being one component now being uh, cross-represented in other areas so that if you happen to be, for example, a, a member of the National Academies and you're applying for a National Science Foundation grant relating to some postdoctoral activity, uh, now that program is going to link with some small business opportunities so that we can uh, more likely bring research opportunities uh, into market because we're collaborating across these uh, various agencies. So we, we refer to that as our Innovation Clusters Program, bringing multiple uh, agencies and programs under one roof, virtually as well as physically, and that is uh, the third leg of the story.